Art students, it is time to display your art. It is important to realize that I'm going to tell you many things in this video, and so I want you to have Miss Rust write them down on the board as you hear about them so that you can remember to do them all. The first thing would be your art is done because it looks fantastic and you have a name tag on the back in the bottom right hand corner. If you put it on the front of your art, that's okay, but you need to ask Miss Rust to carefully remove it and put it on the back bottom right hand corner. Then you need to decide all your artwork, do you need to trim it down? See this white space here? We might want to trim it down. And depending on your grade, Miss Russ might have tools to make this trimming easier. It's completely up to you whether you want to do that. Then once your artwork is labeled on the back, so that needs written down, and trimmed, so that needs written down, you are ready to display it on one of our butcher block pieces of paper if it's a two-dimensional artwork. If you have a 3D artwork, in other words, it wouldn't go on here because it would fall off or pops off the page. Um, just wait, that's coming. So you are going to take your glue. You are going to make sure that you have it closed. Okay, turn it upside down. You're going to shake it so the glue moves to the bottom. Then you're going to unscrew it. You're going to make sure that the glue works, which you know it works because see how you can see through that space if it's clogged you might need to unclog it, okay? So you are then gonna take your art and you are gonna put four dots of glue. And the dots are gonna be the size of a dime. How many dots do I do? Four, what size are they? The size of a dime. And then notice I didn't put it over my name tag. So they're not gonna be in the four corners, it's gonna be in the two upper corners and then it's gonna be just before your name tag. Again, we should write that down. Okay, we're gonna do four dots of glue. Then I'm gonna put it on the mat and I'm gonna really take time to kind of rub it in because when I get my art back, Miss Rux is actually just gonna cut it off this thing right here and this will go with your art, okay? So we're not really gonna take it off of here. So we're gonna screw it down, glue it down, make sure it's good. Then you're gonna build a frame. You're gonna draw in a frame and it's super easy to draw in a frame I will have all sorts of markers available. You pick a marker color that you think will work well with your project, and then you just draw it out. Now, Miss Russ, that makes me scared. I wanna see how you do that. So, you're gonna want one of these boards. You take your artwork, move mine over here so you can see how I did that. You wanna leave lots of space in between your friend's art and your art, right? Don't squish them all right next to each other. That doesn't look good leave space, then you're gonna make sure it's level, okay? We don't want these to be crooked, so make sure that it's kind of parallel is the fancy word. In other words, this line and this line match up. And then you're gonna take your color and you start by just doing lines out. That determines how big your frame is. Ooh, this is a bad color. I would throw this one away and get a new one. And then I decide what type of line I want. So maybe I want a zigzag frame. And then all I do is go from corner to corner with my type of line, which Miss Russ has a poster. And then I can decorate on the inside. Do I want polka dots? Do I want to color it in? Whatever it is. When you're all done with your frame, you are going to add artist, your name, teacher, your teacher's name, like your classroom teacher, grade, and the grade you're in. And I know people say, well, Miss Russ, we all know that Mrs. Woods teaches second grade. Well, adults don't know that. So we're gonna include those three things and that's gonna be written in marker as well, right below your frame in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now what do we do if we have 3D art? So you need to put your 3D art on display, which means you need a display pass. You need to have asked Mrs. Russell's permission to use a display pass and then the supplies available for your grade because these are only for people who have shown themselves to be leaders in the art room. If you still struggle with appropriate choices, then Miss Russ will have to do this for you. Then, if you are a leader, you get to go in the hall with your art display pass, just like if you were in middle school, and in your, the hallway with your pass, you are gonna display your art in this setup here. Students are never allowed to move the glass, ever. So if it's in your way, 
make sure to ask Miss Russ. You are going to put it on display at the shelf that you can reach. Not with leaning, not with climbing, but the shelf that my hand easily goes above and can set work on. Then my artwork, I'm going to figure out how I want to display it. I'm going to make sure to leave room for other friends. And then I will need to make this before I come out. Let's just think about that. You have to make this before you come out because Miss Russ is going to ask for it. And then this goes on display right next to your art. And it's a little sign that says artist, so your name, teacher, so your classroom teacher, and grade. With that, once you are all done, if you needed to secure it with pins, um, you've figured out how to do that, or you've asked for help, you get to bring your pass and any supplies you brought out into the hall back into the art room.